Secret agents, suspects in science converge for a family adventure unlike anything you've ever experienced. Put your skills to the test in top secret license to spy at the Durham Museum. And here to tell us more is the Durham's Jessica Brummer. Good to see you, Jessica. Good to see you guys. Thanks for coming in. Yeah. So uh, you opened the summer exhibit that was last week, right? Yes, on the 20th. Mm -hmm. So top secret license to spy. What's it all about? It, it, it's, it's really cool. Um, so it's sort of a James Bond meets um, Clue. If you ever played like the board oh, yeah. game yeah, Clue. Sure. So. Um, so when you enter the exhibit, you, you get a spy file. Mm -hmm. uh, it has a list of six suspects, uh, possible who done it. Um, and you make your way throughout the exhibit. There's 20 different sort of interactive stations that give you clues as to which of those six, six suspects might have done it. And um, as you make your way through, you're collecting stuff on your spy file. And when you get to the end, there's a debriefing room mm -hmm. where you get to you know select who you think uh, committed the crime and and see if you were able to solve it with through all the stations. It's I'm, super I'm well fun. I'm professor in the library yeah. with the candlestick. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But that, that's a, that's the same kind of yeah. uh, concept. But um, you know, kind of a, like you mentioned, a lot of kind of science and um, learning going on there, maybe too. So uh, it, it's really fun. I've I've now kind of made my way through it two different times with two different groups of people. Um, it's a ton of fun. Well, it sounds like a great family event. Yes. What age groups are well, you good know, for this. I, I've seen families in there with kiddos. I've seen like date night in yeah. there. Um, so I think it really, um, I mean, some of the, some of the cases are a little more challenging than mm -hmm. others. So probably not for teeny tinies, but then there's kind of stuff for everybody. Mm -hmm. So um, I feel like it's a good family exhibit, but um, yeah, fun thing to come with your friends or yeah. your coworkers or something too. So yeah, so it's really a, a for all ages essentially. Yeah. But, th but then through this exhibit, you have a lot of things um, in conjunction like lectures, yeah. Uh, different things, uh, events surrounding this. Yeah, so we have lots of stuff going on. Um, we have some behind the scenes tours, um, and all of it's on our website. So um, we also have, uh, we're partnering with the General Dodge House um, mm -hmm. and uh, doing kind of a joint spy tour because uh, talking about General Dodge's involvement in, in the spy network. Um, but then we have um, on Wednesdays, we're doing a top secret for tots, which is um, we're doing some story time, and, and all of the books are focused on kind of different spy themes and, and crafts. Um, and then, as you mentioned, we have a couple of really cool lectures coming up, one with um, New York Times bestselling author Gail Linz. She writes kind of espionage thrillers. Mm -hmm. So she's coming to town to uh, do a lecture about her newest um, spy thriller and, and sign books. So uh, tons of cool stuff planned. What was the inspiration for this to have this kind of uh, adventure there? Yeah, so the exhibit actually comes to us from Australia. Um, it was designed by a company called SciTech in Perth, Australia. Um, and I think the, the exhibit itself blends history. So it's talking about um, famous kind of spies throughout the world, which, you know, we're always kind of focused on history, but also, um, using science and technology to sort of use your brain to solve puzzles. So um, we always kind of like to sneak in that that thing where you are learning, but you don't really know you're learning. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it's great for um, families. Uh, I think people are going to have a lot of fun with it. So yes. We've already had a really large turnout, so it's been great. Good, good for families. Another, one thing that's not for families specifically, it's a little more for adults, yeah. is something called shaken, not stirred. Yeah, so of course we had to do like a James Bond night yeah. with this uh -huh. um, exhibit. So yes, we have a, a adults only event called shaken, not stirred um, on, in September. Um, tickets are available now, but uh, we're going to be serving signature martinis. We're going to have the Corvette Club there. Um, we're going to have our own sort of Casino Royale. Um, so uh, should be a should be a lot of fun, a chance for adults to kind of explore the exhibit on their own and, and have a little fun while yeah, they're at a night fun, out a there event. without the kids. Yeah, night out. Yeah. It should be a lot of fun. Now, what are the the benefits of membership to the Durham Museum? Yeah, so um, it's a great time to buy a membership. Uh, we kind of always um, encourage people to do that. 
It's $60 for a family, um, and that gives you free admission to the museum for 12 whole months. So that includes all of the exhibits, all of our events. Uh, Christmas at Union Station will be coming up, mm -hmm. so you get in free to all of that. Plus you get discounts on some of these tours I'm talking about, um, camps, those types of things. So it's really a great deal. Well, we just got our membership earlier this year. I think it was, what, 60 bucks for yeah, a family? Yeah, $60 I mean, for yeah, a family. Cheap. Yeah, that's and you great. get all the exhibits. So this exhibit yeah. that's here, yeah. you just get to come in. Yeah, uh, and you get tons of benefits. Like we do members only events where you get to come in and see the exhibit you know before uh -huh. it opens to the public so um, it's a really great deal uh, real quick one last thing I just saw yesterday you're accepting applications <laughs> for the big Christmas tree at the Durham right we are. So how does that work I know. If somebody has a big old it's tree June in their 1st, yard so we had to start thinking about Christmas right oh, yeah <laughs> we'll be here before you know it I know no we um, yeah so every year someone locally donates their tree to kind of be the centerpiece of Christmas at Union Station and we're officially on the hunt for that tree. So um, if folks have a, a tree in their yard that you know they need to get rid of, usually it's because it's encroaching on a mm -hmm. sidewalk or something like mm -hmm. that, um, just give us a call and uh, we'll take down your information and then we go out and scout them all in August and, and pick the lucky winner mm -hmm. and uh, it's a lot of fun. So, so yeah, I, I can't believe we're talking about Christmas already, already I know. Well, the DurhamMuseum.org, <laughs> that's the website that you can go to. It sounds like a real fun exhibit. Thanks it for coming is. in, Jessica. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, pack your bags for...